Hey guys, it's Coke. Before we get started on this video, I just wanted to mention two things. The first being that you want to have a working knowledge of perfect squares in order to do this mentally. And the second thing is this is by no means a perfect uh, method where you can calculate the exact decimal, but it's awfully, awfully close. So hope you enjoy it. So step one is to find a perfect square that is closest to this number without going over. So in this case, it would be three. And then three squared would be nine. So step two is to find the difference between the two numbers. In this case, our difference is three. So that actually becomes our numerator for our fraction. And then the last step is really easy. We just double the whole number here. So it's six. So our approximate answer mentally in our head is 3.5. And then if we uh, plug this into the calculator to double check, our answer comes out to 3.46, which is awfully close to our mental calculation. Now let's go a little bit faster here. So 76, the perfect square closest to it would be 8, which gives us 64. Find the difference, which equals 12. So then 12, and then for our denominator, is going to be 16. When we reduce that, we can reduce that down to 8.75. And then our calculator answer gives us a rough estimate of 8.72, which again is super close. Okay, guys, so the first two examples we did, the fractions were 3 6 and 3 4 which were awfully easy to convert back into decimals. But let me give you one more tip to convert challenging fractions into decimals. Now, again, the closest perfect square would be 10 here because 10 squared is 100. That means our difference is 9, and then our denominator is 20. Now, again, what might be tricky about this problem is that 9 20th might be hard to convert in your mind into a decimal. But if you think about it, 9 20th is awfully close to 10 over 20, which is equal to a half or 0 0.5. So if we take one decimal down, we can say that the decimal approximation would be 10.4. And then we, when we double check our answer on the calculator, it approximates to roughly 10.44 which again is awfully close. All right, guys, last example here. So 236, if we know our perfect squares up to 20, we know that 15 squared gives us 225. So if we take the difference between the two numbers here, our, our numerator becomes 11, and then double the 15 to get 30. Now, once again, 11 over 30, don't be intimidated by that. We can think of that as 10 over 30, or one third, which is equal to 0 0.3333 repeating. So then we can approximate our answer to 15.3. And then I believe our calculated calculator answer gives us 15.37. So again, awfully close.